Today I'm going to photograph and dissect this hibiscus flower. You won't need too many tools. You need a camera with a good macro lens. This is a pretty advanced setup, but um, you can certainly get by with something smaller or just use a magnifying glass. Also um, a razor blade, a piece of tape uh, wrapped around the end of a pencil does really well for holding some of the smaller pieces while uh, photographing. You also need a backdrop. I'm just using a black shirt and an, a whole lot of light. So let's get started. I find it's much easier to move your subject to the camera rather than move your camera to the subject. Okay, I've got the hibiscus flower set up in front of my extended macro lens. I've got my lighting, I've got a backdrop. I'm using the sun from the window as much as possible. I'm going to move the flower into position rather than the camera. Getting a lot of shake, so I'm going to take start taking the first step in the dissection that I'm going to perform is to cut the center part of the of the flower out. Um, if you're trying to photograph the flower in, uh, entirely, you can see it just vibrates too much. Take my little razor blade, nip it off, and now you'll see it's much steadier. Since I'm taking video, I'm moving the flower rather than the camera. And I'm going to be zooming in on the different parts of the image that I find interesting. I'm now going to increase the magnification by a factor of about five. As you increase the magnification, vibration becomes more and more of a problem and loss of light. I'm going to bring this lamp up even closer and do it again. I'm going to try to zoom right down the center. This is a hard shot because the uh, field of focus becomes very, very narrow at these high magnifications down to less than a millimeter. So you'll see in the video you can only see a very narrow slice at a time.
I'm going to trim off an even smaller piece and uh, attach it to the pencil on the tip of, with a little bit of tape so that I can see it better. This object is only about the size of a pin and we should be able to see the individual grains of pollen. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video I have. And now I have a whole lot of video I've got to edit down into something useful.